This is part two of the walk-in closet build. I started the same way as the first side, by drawing out what I wanted on the left side of the closet. I used birch veneer press wood for the three wall units and cut all the pieces on the miter saw and cable saw. Each unit is 6 feet tall by 2 feet wide by 1 foot deep. The leftmost unit will have shoe storage, some drawers and some shelves on the top for purses. The middle section has a top and bottom to hang clothes. And the third section has 12 square sections for folded clothes. Once all the pieces were cut, I applied edge banding to all the exposed edges using an iron. I ran the iron over the edge banding for a few seconds to make sure that the glue had enough time to melt and stick to the birch veneered press wood. With a sharp edge banding knife, I trimmed off the excess, then gave all the pieces a quick sanding with 120 grit sandpaper. For part one of this project, I had pre-finished each piece before assembly. For part two, I decided to assemble everything first before staining and finishing. I made a small shelf to hold perfume and cologne bottles in different sizes using the scrap pieces from the three units. They are about 3 inches deep and about 6 inches tall. Once that was done, I started working on the two drawers. They are about 6 inches tall and will be used for storage. To assemble the three units, I used dowels just like the first part. I drilled all the dowel holes in the horizontal pieces first. Then lined up the dowels to drill the corresponding holes in the vertical pieces. Once all the holes were drilled, I glued and assembled everything together, making sure to wipe off any glue squeeze out in the corners using a card scraper. I used clamps to hold everything in place tightly while the glue dried.
Once the assembly was done, I could start on the stain and finish. I'm matching this closet to the first part I already made, so I used special walnut stain for all three units. After the stain dried, I applied satin wipe-on poly to all the pieces. I sanded in between each coat using 600 grit sandpaper and applied four coats in total for a perfectly smooth finish. With the stain and finish complete and dry, I installed the push to open drawer slides for the two drawers. I used the spacer to install them to the right height on the unit and mark the corresponding position on the drawer. I used black steel pipe and made hanging bars for the clothes hangers. Also used the same pipe to make L brackets that get screwed to the wall and secure the unit in place. Once the installation was complete, it was time to fill it with clothes. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, be sure to watch part one of this project to see how I built the right side of the closet.